What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the team. Fish Knuckles you channel. This is round number three of the Players' I guess day number three. It's not really round number three. It's like day number three of playing the Players' Cup. Uh, so, day number one, very unexciting games one and two. But in game number three, we played against Rillaboom, which is Rososa. Yesterday, we played uh, an Elder Gauss draw pass, and then pretty much two Eternity decks that didn't draw too hot. Uh, that's one good thing about playing ADP in this, like, Players' Cup is, like, since it's best of one, we're playing, like, a really, really consistent deck, and uh, we just, like, draw super hot always, and we're not really dead drawing. Oh, yes, it's very linear, and it's very hate ADP, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You can hate it all you want to. The deck is, like, super phenomenal. But here we go. We are playing in day number three, certain Zacian, certain Orange Guru. The hand is not... The best right now, but we do have a really cool play where we can energy spin or put a metal junior on top of the deck, go for the intrepid sword, guaranteed an energy, and also you can also hit an energy with this, uh, this primate or this orange guru. Uh, so see the metal junior coming down. We'll go ahead and go for that primate wisdom, switching it off, boss order. And so you're going to have an option. You either go Zashi on the active or the bench. I'm actually going Zashi on the bench because what I'm scared of is that opponent goes for a turn one horror house. And then they go to a poultry guy. So I'm forcing them to Guzma my Zashi on the bench up. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, but we are playing against this Rotom Gengar Mimikyu um, Mewtwo deck. I think I saw Azul playing this like first in one of his streams. Uh, so it's very interesting. You have that, that Rotom... <coughs> That gets two psychic energies and attach it to one of your Pokemon. Uh, I think we'll eventually show that. I don't even know the tech name of it. I don't even know what's from it. It's very new card for sure. But that Gengar Mimikyu is a very good card. Especially right now. I've seen, I've seen a lot of people play it in Mewtwo. Uh, thanks to Isaiah. So, uh, But we see a Cherish Ball here. This is probably going to find either Gengar. Or not Gengar. Mewtwo or Didini. It's up to my opponent. There's a Sogalio and Lunala GX. Pretty much is just 230. That's that's all you really wanted to know. You can't use it again next turn, but you can also just like switch out of it and then attack it again next turn. So we see him discard a Cinemore GX, which is like Darkest Tornado GX is also a really good a GX stack if he wants to go for that. We see a Viridian Force come down. We see him discard the Viridian Force, or discard a Psychic with the Viridian Force to find another Psychic Energy. My opponent does have these nice little hollow... Uh, there's an Energy Assist, right? It's attached to basic energies to uh, one of your bench Pokemon. Is it any way you like? I can't. Uh, yeah, to your bench Pokemon any way you like. So you can attach one to one. It looks like he's not going to use it. it. Looks like he doesn't want to power up that Gengar Mimikyu. Uh, so now we have this really phenomenal turn too. We have this like Ready Force two forty HP. Uh, Brave Blade does two thirty, but we see we do have that Fatality Ban in the hand, saying, "Hey, you know what? Who needs ADP once again? We're gonna go for that Vitality Ban. We're gonna discard the Zacian." Uh, you pretty much just need two. Uh, yeah, so go for that. We'll go switch. We'll go to the boss order. Bring that guy up. <clears throat> we should primate with some uh, research on top of the deck. Uh, I like that play. Yeah, just in case he does um, whatever and like, get rid of it. We could quick ball here and, and get rid of like and go for like a Dedini and go for data change. But we're going to be kind of, uh, I guess, you know, taking it easy, slow, whatever. Unless they're going to get a metal saucer. <clears throat> We're going to hit an Air Balloon, and we're going to hit a Radiant Forest. All right, so, of course, you can't attack again with Brave Blade. The next turn is we have to find a Switch, which we have Air Balloon, so we can Air Balloon, like, or Guru, or the Zashi, and it's up to us. Well, There's a Mewtwo Mew GX coming down. Now, we can one-shot that Mewtwo and Mew. It does have 270 HP, so with an ADP buff, you are doing 270, which is pretty nice. Um, we do do that. Uh, so, yeah, there we see a Sogalio Lunala. Once again, that Cosmic Burn is doing 230. And that's like a really good setup. And a Big Charm. We do play Tool Scrapper, so Big Charm is not... Oh, well, he plays his own Tool Scrapper. So now we can't one-shot his Mewtwo's Mews anywhere. We only have one Vitality Ban. Um, <clears throat> we'll probably need to update it probably two or something. I don't know. Mewtwo is getting a little bit more hype, so it might be helpful to play two bands. Uh, so you're one-shot at Mewtwo's and Mews. Because then they have that 270 HP, which, of course, Zashin can't reach with an ADP buff. <clears throat> but the cool thing about this is since he bumped our Vitality Ban, we can actually Air Balloon our active <coughs> uh, Zashian. So that's something neat we could do here if we want to do that play. I want to see a quick ball from our opponent. 
I don't know what they're really going to grab here. Let's take a look at the Trevenant Dustinor. Now, Trevenant Dustinor has that Night Watch. It does 150. And you shuffle two random cards from your opponent's uh, hand into their deck. So, we'll see if that comes into play. It probably does. Right? It probably does. So, <clears throat> we have options here. We can go for the ADP play, which I think is probably the, the better play here. There was he had Dadini come down. Especially if we put down the Zadini, we can just, like, brave play the Dini for, like, game and... I think that's like what we want to do now, all right? I think this is why we go after the the ADP. We could like f balloon retreat and then like hope to hit boss plus uh, switch. <clears throat> it's a lot, but we can just you know discard the forest with the forest. Go ahead and get the water energy. We'll go ahead and, and don't don't touch that water energy, anybody. <laughs> you better quick ball. <laughs> you better quick ball for uh for the ADP, Josh. There we go. So go ahead and grab the ADP. That seems pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna the ADP. Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's go ahead and do that. Get the ADP down. We'll get the the air balloon. Sure, why not? Get a water energy. I'm gonna retreat uh, first. Get the order sequence. It doesn't matter. Right, I don't think it matters what order you order you do it in, right? If you switch first or energy switch first, who knows? But primarily, I'm going to put the saucer on top of the deck. Why not? Okay, put the boss order. That's okay. Whatever. So we have Great Catcher. We can Great Catcher bring up that Trident Dustnor, and then we can, like, <clears throat> like play a million Metal Saucers. <coughs> um, what this does, it for sure powers up... Um, the Zashians. It's like we have a powered Zashian now. Um, we can play Tool Scrapper as well, or we can hold it. Um, hold the Tool Scrapper. At this point, it doesn't really matter. Uh, because if he goes for a Night Watch next turn, then it doesn't really matter, I feel like, right? If he goes for Night Watch, you shuffle in the Research and Tool Scrapper in the deck, so. We'll see what he does here. He needs to have a switch anyway, so we'll see. If he doesn't have the switch, <clears throat> oh, we're looking so good if he doesn't have a switch here. <clears throat> we see the energy going to Mewtwo Mew. Okay, so he puts four energy in that Mewtwo Mew. Let's see. Oh, and there's a switch. He's got the purple switch as well, which is pretty nice. Goes with this purple psychic deck. Uh, so we'll see what he decides to go for here. Um, he can go for Night Watch. He can hit us for 230. Uh, he can Psychic with a Dini. He can Miraculous Duo GX if he wants to. Incineroar doesn't do any damage right now because there's no there's no damage on it. So, so but he hasn't played a supporter card either, which is like something to to point out too. He he kind of just like switched and then now oh we see Pell Moon GX. So Pell Moon GX is like three energies or two energies or something, uh, and you discard all. <laughs> uh, come on, Josh, it's, it's, it's the Dustin or Trevenant. Pale, at the end of your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon will be knocked out. If the def Pokemon has one extra energy attached to it, discard all energy. So, he discarded energies from my ADP, but uh, we're just going to switch to Zacian. Now he won't get knocked out anymore, because he's not the defending Pokemon anymore. And then we'll research. Seems good. Yeah, seems good. No, he's got rid of his GX stack, so he can't really power up another guy. We see a Metal Energy. We can go ahead and attach that to the Zacian. Um, looks like I'm going to discard it. Okay. Sure. Uh, we can Private Wisdom, the Quick Ball on top of the deck, and then Didini if we want to. Um, what this does is we can draw more cards, get Clutter out of our deck. So we'll see if we go for that. So we can f Air Balloon, the Zacian, Primate Wisdom, the Quick Ball, and then we can... Well, just kidding. Uh, the whole point was so we could do Dini, and then we could Quick Ball next turn for the Elder Goss, but then we hit Elder Goss, and we're like, well, we got the Elder Goss in hand, so we definitely just want to keep our hand right now. Unfortunate. So 260 coming down that Mewtwo, surviving about 10 damage. Uh, there's really no way he can heal it now because he used that Pale Moon GX. So I don't know if Night Watch would have been better because he can Rackles Duo here. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You, you like keep your Mewtwo alive and like it might be better, but then we see Double Boss Order. We see Watch Over, heal some damage off the active Mewtwo. That's irrelevant. We can just like boss up the Mewtwo now. Um, 
Also, we just need one energy. So we see Cosmic Burn. So Cosmic Burn just do straight 230. Knock us out, but we have Force in play, so we can like use the Force. I guess unless you're hoping that um, you open your opponent doesn't have any energies left. So we'll just Middle to deactivate and we'll go for that Brain Blade. That's a pretty cool game there, uh, if I do say so, because do I want to win? No, Augusto. No, you didn't win for us. Uh, anyways, um, <coughs> what I was going to say is it's a pretty cool deck. Like, the Rotom powering up your Pokemon seems really nice. I wonder if you opt to go second with that deck because you want to get, like, Rotom, like, going quick. Or do you go turn one? Uh, I think you go Rotom. I don't know. I'd say you not decide. But then you have, like, all these bunch of different attackers, right? We saw <coughs> Sinor GX. We saw... Uh, Lanala, Sino L Lanala and Sogalio, a tag team GX. We saw Trevna and Dusnor, tag team GX. It's probably the most tag team deck in the game right now. It probably beats Mewtwo. It probably has more tag teams than Mewtwo. And then we saw Gengar Mimikyu GX. So, I mean, that's Gengar Mimikyu. We saw Trevna and Dusnor. We saw Lanala and Sogalio. So, that's three. Mewtwo probably plays, like, one. So... Just fresh air with Charizard GX. So, uh, oh, it plays too. It plays the Gengar and Mickey sometimes too. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Let's go ahead and fast forward this. Okay. Oh, no. Let's go back some. Okay. So, next round. Let's go. Round number two. Day number three of the Players Code number two. Looks like we're playing against Dennis Benjamin. Uh, hey, man. Dennis, good luck, bro. We'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. Day number three coming at you. Dennis Benjamin um, playing a Charizard deck. He's got a restroom coin. Maybe he's playing a fire. <laughs> All right, so we lost coin flip. If they choose to go second, they're definitely playing fire. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, yeah. So we'll see how fire does, right? Well, we haven't seen fire yet. I mean, we, we've done a really good job showcasing a bunch of different decks um, during this whole time. So we do see a multi different opponent. Good old Dennis giving us a free card. And yeah, there's heat energy. And so the heat energy definitely tells me he's not playing both Sophion. He's playing like Scorch. Or something like that. We see Krobag on our hand. All right. So <clears throat> let's see here. So we can force. No, that's so bad. Sequencing, Josh. No. Oh no. No 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 no, Josh. No 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 no. You messed up there. Oh my goodness, guys. I apologize. That's bad sequencing on my part. So looks like he doesn't have any Pokemon in his hand either. Man, that's terrible sequencing. We should have ready for a way to steal, to hit a steal, attach the steal to the active, draw the Crobat, draw some cards, play the, the the saucer, and we didn't. That's terrible sequencing, Josh. Um, I wanted to just have a quick ball to... Oh, goodness. We see three metal saucers. We knew it has Marnie in hand, so we're going to hope he plays that Marnie and doesn't, like, play D Denny <laughs> to dig for Welder. Because we have to discard triple research or triple um, saucer. It's not good. So you see quick ball. Man, yeah, and that just bugs me. We should have radiant the metal, switched, or play attached to metal, curb that for a couple, switch metal saucer. Maybe I made it too hard on myself. Nah, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. It's a weird sequencing thing for sure. But we see a switch into the Volcanium. <clears throat> As long as he got a fire energy, he can go for that flare starter, get three energies on that Sinta Scorch. So you see him discarding a fire energy. There is the Dedini, so he's not going to Marnie us. The only time I want to see a Marnie so bad, like, he's not going to use it. Bloop, there goes the Marnie. Oh, no, we wanted the Marnie. We actually wanted the Marnie so bad. So another Sinta Scorch coming down, okay. Uh, we see a giant hearth as well, bumping our Viridian Force. So not only are we going to lose three saucers and an energy switch, we got rid of the Radiant Force. And uh, it is not looking good. It looks like the fire is it's, it's starting. It's starting. <clears throat> Maybe we whiffed on the Malwall. Malwall didn't hit us anything. So, yeah. Okay, Quick Ball. So Quick Ball can find us. Yeah, you can see me like hesitated. Like, man, I don't want to have to discard th these saucers. I guess we're going to have ADP here. We can at least save the the uh, energy switch 
And uh, we can prime, we can uh, prime it wisdom and metal sauce on top of the deck. Hope to hit metal energy is pretty good because we know for sure we're going to hit a metal saucer. Or yeah, there's the metal saucer. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we got the metal saucer. Go ahead and put that there. Water energy. Go ahead and put down the Viridian Force. Then you ADP. We need to hit switch or air balloon with this. So we'll see here. Oh, <laughs> we're so much, oh, we're such in bad shape now. Oh, it looks like my opponent is going to be like so far ahead right now. Um, yeah, I was going to say a trepid sword. This is, oh, there's a switch too. Oh, we try to play as many switch and air balloons to try to be super consistent. Uh, so that my opponent has energy and boss order. They can bring up Zacian, swing into it. Go down to four, and it just, oh, goodness, this is not good. There's a fire juice of Volcanion. That's nervous. That makes me nervous. There's a quick ball. Okay, we discards a Cinderace V. Ah, hey, man. Yeah, it sounds good. Cinderace V, making an appearance. Definitely a card I did not expect to see here. Okay, he's got, is that a VMAX or the V we just saw? So there's Crystal, gonna get two energies in hand. Okay. Let's see what else he's got. And just a high heat blast for 110. <clears throat> All right, so we might have a chance here. So we'll switch to ADP. Okay. And what we should do, I don't know if we do it or not. We should switch to ADP. We should boss order up the bench Cinder Scorch. And yeah, I think that's what we should do here. Um, you can see I'm trying to do my wall math. And my wall is pretty much as useless, unfortunate. Uh, so go ahead and put a cherry on top of the deck. There's a tool scrapper, really not that useful. I hope we boss order up the bench. Um, uh, Sent scorch V. I think we're gonna just shuffle the deck and discard the cherish ball, so we can try to find some cards. So there's a metal energy. Attach it to the active. Maybe. You see what I'm trying to do some I mean, he could potentially knock us out if he hits welder energy. I mean there's always possibility. I if you don't boss sort of the the, the synth scorch though, I'll be so mad at you, Josh. We didn't do it. We didn't we didn't boss it up. We didn't boss it up. You know the hand is two fires something whatever that guy so that's unfortunate we definitely should have boss ordered up yeah it's my fault so see high heat blast here okay all right so now we can boss order the didini take a knockout no we get great catcher of the didini actually i think that's probably the best play here <clears throat> Cause he's not even like 100% taking a knockout Oh no. Uh... Yeah, he's not 100% taking a knockout on the active ADP unless he attacks with Sinister Scorch V. And then we attack with Sinister Scorch V, we take a knockout with Zacian. Uh, so we didn't, we need the Orn Guru. I think Orn Guru with a boss sword on top of the deck. So you can boss next turn if he does Marnie. That's what I would do right now. I was looking for a tool scrapper. Seems like a terrible play there. Okay, I, well, I guess the thing, if you if you ADP here, you can't get that next card anyway. We see two energies, that's not good. There's one, and there's two. We're down like two, three. Um, two or three um, saucers. So let's see here. I mean, we should just boss order the Sent Scorch and win next turn. We're down three saucers. Down three. So. See, and discarding the Fire Energy. Okay. The opponent pretty much is dead, Drew. They, they, they were in a position where if they hit the boss order that turn with, like, Volcanion, bring up Zashi and take a knockout. 
They would have been such a demanding lead. Uh, but we see, yeah, we just see the, the uh, Sinter Scorch V come out. Not even a V Max, and uh, we're just going to knock that out with the Zashian V. So we do take out when it gets fire. Fire is definitely some type of clunky. Um, the good thing about ADP is you can play a million Dedinis, uh, Crobats, a ton of draw cards. So, unfortunately, Pondit didn't draw so high. They were definitely in a position where if they were to hit a boss order and knock out, to a knock out the Volcanian, they're like such a good spot. Uh, so now we're either playing against Bubblesaur or L Professor. I guess that's his name. So let me fast forward some. Let's go see if we can find that. Going to game number three. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. All right, here we go. All right, let's start. We're playing against Bubblesaur. Hopefully they're playing against, hopefully we're playing a grass deck. It'd be cool to see another uh, Rillaboom deck on here. I've seen some people play Rillaboom. Um, without Butterfree, and Sosa's like, what are you doing? This doesn't have Butterfree. And then people don't get the, the joke, and I get sad. <laughs> Anyways, Bulbasaur is playing a colorless deck. Alright, with the Chansey Coin. Chansey Coin? Oh my goodness, and the Silly Sleeves. Oh my goodness. We won the coin flip. We're, we're winners. Winner, winner, chicken. <clears throat> Alright, our hand is terrible. Oh, googly. Hmm. Well, we have options here. We can go for... Let's look at Janelle Shakespeare Zashian. I don't know how much I'll like this play, I'll be honest with you, now I'm thinking about it. I don't know how much I'll like this play. If I'm being honest with you. I think we should have had just went really aggressive and just grabbed Dini, discard the hand, and gone crazy. Because now our hand is terrible, and we have to stole Dini it away. Discard the Welder. <laughs> so obviously we're probably playing a fire deck. The Jirachi start definitely tells me it's going to be uh, Basalfion. I apologize. I apologize there to Gion, because I yawned. Um, but I definitely think we should have Quick Ball for Dedini. We would have for sure hit the Cherish Ball. We would have Cherish Ball. That's a Reshizard. <clears throat> I don't know which one's scarier. <laughs> a Turkey Reshizard uh, swinging for 600 or 300? 600. 600. 600 damage Charizard. Um... He already discarded one welder, which means he has another welder in hand. So he hearth away the 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 scoop of net. We'll see. Oh goodness, this is scary. Because he could just go for uh, the uh, the GX right now and just take a knockout on Crobat. Oh goodness. <laughs> We have no way of knocking out that, that next turn if he does do this. Okay, quick ball. Just gonna get Jirachi. Oh, he could Fion. He could Fion here. Oh, goodness. Does he use Fion or not? Fion would destroy that Zacian. Like, blow it up. There's a Crobat as well. He doesn't stop. It just keeps on going. He can attach a fire. Oh, uh, he already attached a turn. <laughs> he already has three energy. That, that'd be broken if he got four energy somehow. Turn one, I'd be like, hold on. Wait, how do you get four energy? You only attach a welder, and that's cheating. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, so yeah, double X for 200. Oh, we're looking bad already, guys. It's looking, oh, it's looking rough. The good news is he can't knock out an ADP next turn. The bad news is I don't know if we can get an ADP out this turn. All right, we'll go ahead and put Cinescorch and Eldegoss. Let's we'll put Eldegoss and Zigzagoon. We're going to make him to make him use Net. I think that's a fine play. I think that's fine. That's a fine play there. Problem is, we have to we have to cherish ball for Dedini now. Like, there's no you have to. 
Um, and you might be questioning, Josh, why did you put down the um, the Mawa? The Mawa is always good in the situation. Uh, you should probably uh, we should probably energy switch from the active to the bench as well because if you're attaching energy regardless, and if he that way if he does get a, a double uh, whatever it's called, if he attacks next turn, he's getting a knockout. So I, I think you energy switch regardless right now. Yeah, I think you energy switch and then you Dadini here. Um, I think we we should energy switch to Dini, but I have no idea what I do. Okay, so I disagree with the fatality being attached though. That is a terrible play. That is a terrible because now if we hit, um, oh goodness, I almost almost dropped the almost just dropped everything. That would have been terrible. Um, what's I gonna say? If we hit balloon, we can't retreat now. So that's a terrible play. I will tell you when I make terrible plays. Yeah, dude, that was that was terrible. That that was garbage. We should have attached a fatality, man. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, we see the cherish ball. We're gonna grab the ADP now. Yeah, that, that's terrible. We shouldn't have done that. That's one of the worst things we could have done. We could grab Kribat. No, Kribat V just got knocked out. So we will see the Oranguru. I like that. So we can dig deep next turn. Or here in a second. We're gonna put down the ADP. We'll go ahead and research. It didn't matter anyway. We we didn't hit it. We didn't hit nothing. It's terrible. Nah, it's saying it's terrible. It's saying it's terrible. We can we can't even like great catch anybody. It's terrible. We lost. We are losers. So I'll go ahead and turn it sort of the bench. Sure, why not? It's not looking good. Um it's looking really bad. It's looking really bad. Really bad. Looking really, really bad. Looking real rough. Okay, I guess so here here's the idea of probably attaching the Vitality Band, now I'm thinking about more of why it attaches the Vitality Band to, to Zashi and V in the active. It's because we needed the Vitality Band to one shot Reshi's are because it's just 270 HP. And the only way you can accommodate this is by uh, having a Vitality Band on the Zashi. And so in my head, I was like, okay, if we, you know, get the ADP playoff and then somehow get Zashi and swing in, we might have a chance. Because Zashian doesn't get uh, Reshizar doesn't guarantee a knockout on the Zashian, and so I was probably thinking, okay, if we hit switch, power for ADP somehow, somehow we we know he doesn't have boss sorter, so he can't knock out the Zashian because we just mawwild, so we know his hand is terrible right now. He has welder, and pretty much that's it. Um, so I think that was the reason behind everything right there. My opponent probably did a little bit, a little bit. A little bit of a miss sequence there. He probably should have uh, Giant Hearth first and then have Welder. Um, the only reason I'm saying this is you thin more cards out of your deck. Um, so I don't know why I keep putting that the Crowbat. I'm just putting that Crowbat, I guess. Um, right now, he can just go for the the Flame Strike. Yeah. I mean, okay, so he takes the knockout. We have to find Marnie somehow. That's the only way we might have a chance. It, that's probably the, oh yeah, that's probably the only way we have a chance right now. So he doesn't want shot the ADP next turn. I, I get that, right? The problem now is we have no way of knocking out this Reshizard, so. I think we have to dig for Marnie. Uh, I hope we do that play. I don't know. I don't remember what we do, obviously. So, I think we, yeah, discard that. Grab. It's, okay, so there is Marnie in the deck. So, let's say we go for the Marnie play. I think we have to Marnie him, Josh. You have to Marnie him, Josh. We have to reach that Marnie. I don't know if you're primal wisdom here right now. Yeah, I understand the 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 idea of saving the boss order. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Metalurgy. I think the energy switch should have went to Zashian. Um, either way, you're in a bad situation. Hey, there's Marnie. So now I think this is when you instruct the boss order on top of the deck. Um, that way you hit it with Marnie next turn. Within the deck out. Yeah, grab a, grab that. 
Seems good. See, now we only have one boss, so we probably should have did the opposite. We should have waited to, to Wisdom. Um, well, either way, it's irrelevant because we're going to shuffle the deck regardless. So, yeah, it doesn't matter um, because we're going to... We, no, we're GXing right now. We're GXing. Yeah, so it actually... Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, definitely what we should have did. We should have... We should have held off on the research. Research after... Or we should have waited to the wisdom after the research. That's what we should have did. Anyways, my opponent's turn. Maybe they have boss order. They win it regardless. They also have Fion. Fion will bring up the Orn Guru. You see me pointing out the Fion. Like, oh, there's Fion here. Um, the Fion doesn't guarantee the, the victory. But we just promote the Orn Guru. What? Oh, I promote the Mawa because he can't use Flare Strike again. Because he used the last turn. If you're wondering. That's why. So now he has to hit Switch Energy. Which might be easy to do. Okay. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter because if he has... Well... It doesn't matter now. <laughs> because now he gets his heart, he gets his demon stomp us. If I would have promoted the Dedini, we would have been in the same spot. <laughs> I mean, we would have been fine. We should have promoted the Dedini GX. Didn't think about Heatran. We got punished. And we lose. I think in that situation, we're starting to lose regardless. I think we should have definitely promoted Oren Guru. Live and learn. So here's my opponent's Firebox deck if you want to see it. Played one Richard, one Heatran. He played Kramer as well. It was a very techy Cinderscore Femax. Uh, he did play three boss orders, and he had to play the single one. So uh, either between the Cram or boss, he probably would have won regardless. Right? But, guys, there we go. Yeah, I didn't wait long enough. I must have been so upset. I think I was mad because I didn't promote the Jadini. Uh, but I think in hindsight, I should have promoted the Oren Guru regardless. It doesn't matter. Either way, it's uh, oh, probably going to win. Either way. Uh, but yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. We did, unfortunately, get second place. Oh, only three points instead of five. But that's okay. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. See you tomorrow for Thursday. Alrighty. Bye.